Hey, this is John Young. We're going to be going and hooking up a full wireless to, to the Everse 8s here. I've got a pair of Everse 8s. What I want to have here is the capability of doing a fully wireless system, but I want to run four speakers. Everse are designed where you can Bluetooth into the first one and then you can go to the second one. I want to have it so I can run four of the Everse speakers. So there's times where I want to go and have a full backyard. This is what's going to, this will hopefully work. And now this is the little device I'm going to be using. This is the Mi. I want to get the actual the model of it. This was their, da, 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 da. Uh, it's M-I, it's M-I-I. And this is their Bluetooth. This is their 5.0 transmitter. And it was the, it was the, I think the, the pro version um, but anyway, this is, I'll put the link in the description below so you get the actual. What this can do is it's really designed for TV to be able to have two Bluetooth headsets going from the same signal. And it has inputs and it has pass-through capabilities. It has a, uh, it actually comes with the, the uh, fiber optic wire, the, the uh, digital wire. So if you wanted to run a digital in and out, you can. It has 8th inch jack in and out. It comes with the wire to go from RCA to the 8th inch jack, which we're not going to use today. But we are going to use this one. This is the 8th inch to 8th inch because the device I want to use in this configuration is probably going to be an iPad. But for today, the little, uh, the old SE that I have is going to represent the iPad because it has an 8th inch jack out. So we have that and that'll get plugged in. Now to power this, it is powered by the, let's see, there it is, the micro USB. And of course there is a wire for that. So I'm going to plug that in. Now it has to be either with a battery pack or something, which you can use these little cheap battery packs. And I think I have some back here, but I'm not gonna use that today. I'm literally just going to plug it in to this, uh, my little Ryobi here. It comes with a little power supply and that's what I'm going to do is plug that into the Ryobi. So technically we're wireless because there it is. Um, it, is wire it is a wireless system, but it is plugged in there. And we'll plug in the power. And I'm gonna plug the audio. Let's see, I've got the 3.5 millimeter in and out. So I'm plugging that in. Now this can be a transmitter or a receiver and we're going to set it to a transmitting. So the TX on the bottom is, is illuminated. I'm gonna turn my speakers on just to get them get them ready to go. To give you just a, a this is the brief little thing of how to do this, how to hook up the the little me Bluetooth, it's a dual Bluetooth transmitter. I did eighth inch jack from my audio device, which is an SE, an iPhone SE. Um, it needs power, so I have a little power supply in this case. Then this, I can, once you start it up, it's into pairing mode. If it's not, you push the little button right here for two seconds and it goes into pairing mode. Then you connect the first speaker. I had to go into the menu on this, go down to Bluetooth, then you go down to pair, audio pairing, and then it found it. Click, it found it, great. So then I needed to go, once this one was connected, I could go and push this and hold it for two seconds again, getting this one into audio pairing mode. Then after a few seconds, it found it. And then I have, you can see two lights there showing me that channels one and two in the Bluetooth world are going. And then from there I go and set my next two Everse eights up and I would then connect them from here. So then I would go and make this one this, the, the power, the, or the main one, and then have the, uh, the linking to the next speaker and do the same on the other side. And if that all works, I should be able to have full wireless sound. It's gonna be playing off a tablet or a mobile device, but full wireless that I can go walk into a space, set this up within a few minutes and have sound there. And more importantly, when it's done, we can go and grab speaker, 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 poles, grab this stuff and we're out the door within minutes as opposed to having to go in and tear down and wrap wires and everything. This could be a really great option. I'll put links in the description below so you can go check this little dual uh, re transmitter receiver out. Right now, again, we're in transmitter mode because we're transmitting to two sources. Receiving mode, it only receives one signal and then puts it out there. And it has a lot of capability with ins and outs, with uh, digital audio, with the, the optical cable and the, the eighth inch jack uh, stuff there. So, hey, it's it's got some flexibility and you can use it for a variety of different sources. But this is where I wanted to use it so I can really run up four speakers wirelessly off my cell phone.